I'm not really sure where I'm actually going. I'm at a little location who uh, <laughs> just spooked me a little bit. I'm at a little location called The Cloud. It's in Congleton. Um, I've never been here before. Uh, there's a guy at work that does a bit of walking. He's talked about it. And another lad at work that said he came a couple of weeks ago. He said it's only a little hill. It's just a bit of a hill that juts out in Congleton. That he said was quite a nice little walk. So I've, I've driven up the, the road. I've parked in a lay-by, which I'm hoping is okay. It's extremely hot, extremely horrible. The weather is horrendous for photographs, really. But I just thought I'd come for a scout. So I'm going to go and show you. Look at that, something's caught my eye already. I'm going to show you how and what I do for scouting out an image. And this has just caught my eye through this low point in the fence as well, in the wall. So I'm going to take a couple of shots with the X-T4 I've got on me and the 16-80 to standard lens. And I'll take a couple of shots of something that might work. I'll put the raw up and I'll do a basic edit on them to have a look and see what potential we could make. But that is definitely a shot for the future. So also from here, I can actually see the trig point, which is up on the top over there. But like I say, I don't know where I'm going. I don't know where the path is. I don't know the actual directions. Now, this is a little campsite, I think. So uh, that'd be quite handy for anyone that fancies a tent or something, a little area like this. Congleton's quite a nice little place because you've got the Peak District right on its doorstep. Uh, but that barn is quite nice. And shooting it through that low point in the wall, I also think worked. So I'm going to head down this little path. Hopefully it turns right and goes through these wooded trees. But I'm sort of kind of scouting for a tree or something that might be a bit interesting. Because, it's like I said, I've never been here before. And uh, the weather not being best. Way too hot. I am absolutely melting. I've got no coat, no jacket with me. I've literally got my little tiny bag over my waist or over my shoulder with my rucksack with a bottle of water in it. That's all I've got. Um, I want me stick. So nothing fancy, nothing uh, elaborate. Just uh, some interesting photos. And there's another scouting shot. A bit of a wall and then the barn and some trees. And we have got some clouds up there, but not necessarily the best. So I'll take another one of this, put this one up, and let's carry on and see if we can find a path through these little few, few little trees and just have a nose and see what's here. That's quite nice. As soon as I've crossed over this little stile, I've come into the slightly wooded area and the temperature's dropped a little bit just because it's in the shade. And my word, what a dense little bit of woodland this is. So I've just noticed a board up here and I didn't pay one bit of attention to it, but I did do some B-roll, <laughs> but I didn't actually look at it to see where I was or anything. So I'm gonna take a picture of it on my phone. Another little tip for you. Because if there's a little local uh, notice board, just uh, take a photograph of it and then you've got it actually with you so you can see where you are and what you're doing. Uh, now, the stye is behind me uh, and it's not telling me where I am exactly, but I'm guessing 
at the trail road. I'm guessing I'm at the bottom and I'm going to lead round, so I'm not sure. Picnic area, I don't know where that is either. I don't know, but I'm going to make my way round. I'm going to have a look in this woodland and see what happens. come across another potential little image um, not quite sure how well they work or not in these conditions but walking along I'm going downhill at the moment uh, come from sort of back up there and I'm heading down this way come across this little dead tree and I just stopped and thought I'd have a look through the camera and just see what it works got my phone out and had a, had a scout on my phone now I like this big tree on this left hand side and I like this bit of canopy on the right hand side so I sort of framed up a, a vertical shot um, with the bending tree to be honest you see this bending tree here that comes up and sort of bends over the path a little bit so it sort of arches and it's got growth on it so it's not just a trunk it's got greenery on it and it sort of path leads you down because this is open to the fields to the left here it's casting these light dappled light through the middle um so i actually i quite like this as a path now put some mist on it and holy macaroni would that be interesting but even so, I still think it looks quite nice, and with the right sort of editing, I'll probably make it work. Um, but I am heading downhill. I don't know why down. Um, I want to go sort of up to the right, but I'm going to see if this track goes down, round, and up the other side. That would be ideal if it did. Otherwise, it's going to be a long walk back up this hill. <laughs> but there are some... This is, is this what they call a, a plantation or something, where people have planted this? Um, but there are some odd trees in the middle of it that look quite interesting. Even looking back, even looking back, that's quite nice. Little dead tree, and then the arch, and then the path leading up with these ferns either side. So again, maybe it might be worth just pulling the camera out of my bag, switching it on, having a bit of a look, maybe framing something, moving forward even, and just trying different things maybe a little bit more focal length let's uh, take it into about 50 mil yeah just just arches of the trees just to see if it works that's that's all i'm doing really just taking a few those record shots and uh, i've never been here so yeah it's all interesting So I've made it down to another gate just down the bottom there. This is a shared track with cyclists, so bear that one in mind if you're down here. And you've got crazy cyclists coming through the hills, through the woods. But now I'm making my way back up now. I think through the middle of the wood. So see what we can find up this way. Come across another one as I was walking up the path. So uh, let me just have a show you kind of what it is I saw as I walked up the path. So I'm gonna spin you around. And then uh, this is what I was doing. So basically walking up the path and in front of me, I've got these like dead trees that are sort of leaning over. And I'm thinking there's some interest going on here. There's something, you know, sort of I quite like. And as I walked up, I can see, you know, they sort of spiral out into the canopy and the light's shining on them, which is quite nice. So moving around, as I move around, see, I just start to move around the trees a little bit. And this gap in the canopy here, they sort of spiral up into that gap but they do overlap a little bit. So I've taken a shot there just to have a look at that and then I gradually moved round the image and seen what happens. And it's all, it starts to come into two trees and they're like dancing trees intertwining together. And you get round here, somewhere about here, a little bit higher, and they come up and one goes one way into this, this little gap here and one goes one way into this little gap. Now I say gap, I can see it, but you probably can't, but there's a little gap between the trunks. And uh, I've taken a shot here as well on, I quite like these dancing trees and I think they look pretty cool. And again, on a misty day, 
wow would they be interesting but yeah just two bent and twisted twigs that just look good but you just got to walk around them and move around and see if they work in a different position the two dominating ones behind take away there you know maybe moving further away and coming up this bank a little bit lifting ourselves up higher putting them in a in a gap you know like something like that zoom in a bit so i can show you what i mean but now this one here is is in a gap and it's not dominated by this big tree if you were to cut this out um, this one here sort of comes around and this sits in a gap and it's not dominated by the tree behind it so i might even take another one of these but it's definitely a vertical shot you know you've got to get this section here you don't need all this either side come out in the open a bit now temperatures come back up sun's getting here i'm not quite in the woods the woods are now on my right hand side and i'm opened up on the left so again we're making our way up now to the trig point i think and just scouting as i go along see if there's any lone trees that are sticking out very um overgrown this is like the sandstone trail that i've been on a few times another track down through the woods there maybe that's my way back through and round I don't know but we are warm <laughs> oh dear I think I might bring the old uh, Escoot mountain bike over here to give it a bit of a, a run I don't know if it's my sort of terrain I might end up walking it up the hill it might be worth bringing it over for a bit of fun it's not far to come from home So I've made my way to the top now, I'm up at a trig point. It's not a very big hill, it's quite a nice simple hill to get up to really. And you've got this uh, marker plate on the top. It's telling me it's 143 miles that direction to London, which is pretty cool. It's telling me Manchester Airport is 14 miles over there. And John O'Groats is 380 miles that direction. So Land's End is 264 miles that way. <laughs> Malcop, five miles. You should be able to see Malcop from here. That should be quite easy. That's quite a nice little place. Malcop got this little castle thing on the top. So pretty awesome. But the view up here is amazing. Absolutely amazing for a little hill in the middle of Congleton. See a couple of water patches as well. I'm going to try and work out what they are and see if I can find them on my map. I 
I said we get a good view and we definitely got a good view this little juts out rocks here looks quite nice jutting out pointing out this way cracking little selfie rock that but I'm not in the selfie mood I've not got the tripod and everything with me um, but this is uh, quite nice because it looks out over the course you know a bit of the plains and the countryside but you got the viaduct down there as well which is pretty awesome and I'm parked somewhere down behind these trees down here but yeah this is a nice little place for a short walk I'd definitely be coming back here for a visit in different conditions that's for sure I think that's me done. Everyone else has shifted on apart from a couple sitting back on the rocks. I just had a walk around to have a look and see what's actually up here. Uh, see if it's worth coming back and getting some shots. And I think it is. There's some nice rocks pointing out, sort of out towards the viaducts and that, which looks pretty good. Uh, there's a couple of rocks down the bottom here sort of pushing out towards the country. So again, right conditions. This could be pretty awesome. This might be one of those places where I could come to Maybe when it's sort of snowy, uh, I, I think the hill, I don't think there's too many hills to get here. Um, so you're not actually in the Peak District where it starts to get really hilly and difficult to drive. Uh, the road I came up would be hard, but I think you can park probably at the bottom of the wood and then walk up. I'm gonna have a look, see if there's parking down there on the way back. Um, but yeah, this, this is a nice little spot here. Um, I think it'd be handy for the future. So hopefully it's been a bit of an interesting video to show you sort of, just a simple me scouting mission really and having a look to see if there's a little bit of trees or a little bit of something that I can take pictures of um, even this the trig point we've got a proper little pathway just here I think that's the one that takes you back down towards the van so I might just walk back that way um, the sky is going greyer now could possibly be a bit of thunder coming in we had a bit last night so yeah for me and the trig point up on the cloud uh, I'm going to check out. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Give us a thumbs up if you like this little video. And uh, yeah, let me know what you do for your scouting missions. Do you take photos on your phone? Because I do that as well. Because that pinpoints the location. Do you take your camera out, take a few pictures and then go back? Uh, do you scout? Because I don't normally. I'm going to be really honest with you. I'm not a big scouting person. But like I say, I was told about this place. So I came out to scout it out. Purely because the weather's not very nice for walking or going anywhere. So that was my mission but I don't do a lot of scouting normally I normally go to where I'm going and take what I find but I do think this is quite a nice little place till next time ciao for now see you soon and uh, don't know where don't know when tell her